It's your boy Zago coming back with you again for another Salt Park Phone Destroyer card introduction video. So, Dragon Slayer Red is coming. Dragon Slayer Red is coming this weekend to join the fantasy theme. Dragon Slayer Red has a war cry that halves the max health of enemies in front of her, guys. Halves! And for the first time ever, after all her belly aching and asking, Red Links has decided to guarantee a copy of the brand new legendary card from this weekend. So everyone will have the chance of guaranteeing that they get a copy of this card, which is unprecedented and such a big thing for the community. So here you see Dragon Slayer Red, four costed fighter card, legendary, as mentioned before, for the fantasy theme. We have her here at base level 1, her stats are 312 HP and 60 attack points. So like I was saying before, her war cry, it halves the health and max health of enemies in the front of this phone case area. So we have seen a lot more cards introduced into the game little by little with this cone shape dynamic. We've had just the garrison so far, we've had... Um, We've had Witch Garrison with the cone shape effect that slows enemies. We've had Swordsman Garrison with the cone shape effect as well that does the Zoro sword slashing. And now we get Dragon Slayer Red. Probably one of the most anticipated cards in the entire game. Right up there with President Garrison. People have been asking for this card for ages and it is great to see that Red Lynx has all the new hype for this card so as you can see here as well the power duration on the card the range of attack uh due to the fact that this card has a war cry effect that for all intents and purposes doesn't scale uh the the big thing with this card is going to be one the attack speed of the card and two how well the attack and the hp scales so currently the range is kind of small but it's a fighter cross card so that's to be expected. need to get some gameplay for you guys to check out the footage of how the attack speed is. So we're gonna try and set up some matches for that momentarily. But before that this card is also gonna more than likely be a meta defining card due to the very very nice effect that more or less counters most of the cards that are in the mystic theme that establish the meta currently this card will definitely counter which doctor which doctor token hey tigger tigger popping up to say hi uh this card will definitely counter the mystic cards that which doctor token high hp and his abilities based around his hp to counter cards like priest maxi tanky card Zen Cartman, Tanky Card. Um, what else are we looking at from the Mystic Team? Medusa Baby, Tanky Range Unit that a lot of people complain about. So, half in the health on that will be really good as well. Uh, what other Mystic cards can I pull off the top of my head? I already mentioned Zen Cartman. But yeah, basically, any Tanky Card in any theme, this card is going to be a good counter for it. As it halves the health so basically if you had something like say for instance a zen cartman can i pull up my stats on my zen cartman zen cartman so i have my level 6 zen cartman here 2488 hp so basically in theory dragon say red is gonna right off the bat cut his hp down to 1244 which is a far cry from where you would have an established in Cartman. So he'll get melted pretty easy. So I mean, this card, man, wow. I don't, I don't want to think that it's going to be OP. Because the stats are going to determine how well it scales. But for the effect and the current meta that we're in. Hell yeah, this card is going to put in some serious work. So, I'm uh, definitely looking forward to seeing a lot of people running this. Might see a meta switch up. Who knows to what degree. But, all in all, good card is good. <laughs> That's what it boils down to. 
So let's see if we can set up some matches for you guys and then talk some more about how the card is in action. Yo, shout out to the homies and hella team style. So we're gonna try and see if we can get a match sorted out for you guys now. Kind of help showcase the card a bit more. So bear with Set up as per usual. Gonna be trying to battle with my auto account so we can kind of slow it down a bit and have a match that actually shows you the card in action and I don't have to worry about actually trying to try hard and win. Um, but yeah, so all in all, it's a solid, it, it, it's looking like a solid card. The fantasy theme definitely needed another uh, legendary under its belt. It's good to see. Alright, let's see if we have it in our opening hand. It is not in our opening hand. Fortunate, so we're gonna try get rid of some stuff. Well, cause my bitch is a big fat bitch, she's the biggest bitch in the whole wide world She's a stupid bitch, she's the a bitch, she's a bitch to all the boys and girls On Monday she's a bitch, on Tuesday she's a bitch, and Wednesday to Saturday she's a bitch Then on Sunday just to be different, she's a super king, come a me a bitch So, now we have Dragon Slayer right in our hand What we're gonna do, is we're gonna try and put some stuff down on the board uh, this is a slow moving unit that we can drop from that guy. This guy here. My hatchet seek blood. And we'll drop these for shit. Alright. Alright, so dragon's here red. There you go. That's that that's how it looks. We'll try and get that and again, hopefully on something more tanky next time, but you get the general idea. So we're gonna check out the attack speed now. Not the fastest attack speed. It's kinda unfortunate. But I guess the card had to somewhat be balanced in that regard. So I'm not necessarily first with the attack speed of this card, but you're not gonna be playing this card, honestly, to be cleaning up, so to speak. This card is more than likely gonna be played in conjunction with stuff. So, say for instance, somebody drops something, and you could easily just Dragon Slayer read it, and then play it alongside with Arrow Storm. That's an 8 mana play to clear up some stuff, potentially. Or, Dragon Slayer read, and then Dwarf King Clyde it to ensure you get the kill, because Dwarf King Clyde hits like a truck when he's leveled up so that's a thing or even dragon slayer red and then lebar jimmy for even more damage and decreasing of max health so i mean they're, 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 this card is definitely gonna be considered a combo card so to speak so let's just try and try to get out of this match and start a new match where hopefully we can actually start out with um can actually start out with dragon slayer red in our opening hand Gonna try and see if we can pull this off somehow. Obviously it's RNG, but we're gonna try and see if one we can maybe unholy combust on her as soon as she comes out before she gets off her battle cry. I'm not honestly you it, 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 I guess it's kinda like a skill cap maybe. Alright, do we get in, in our opening hand? No we do not. Alright, let's just Throw away the arrow storm. There we go. Alright, cool. So we have Dragon Slayer. Alright, so like I was saying before, this is definitely gonna be considered a kind of combo card at this point. So what is potentially going to happen here is we're going to start off the match with the usual Mystic Push somewhat, and then we're gonna try and counter the Mystic Push with Dragon Slayer Red into Dwarf King Clyde or Stana Many Moons. One out of those two combos. So 12 energy investment potential, but we're gonna try. Alright, so typical Mystic start. And the current man. Into Medusa Baby from behind. And we'll throw out Sexy Nun Randy for good measure. 
means six element around there. Alright, so what's gonna happen here is we're gonna do stand up mini moon so he can get his charge up. We're gonna do dragon to red. That cone is so far. Okay, boom, dragon to red. And then boom. Almost cleared both the six, all three, honestly. Look at that. The cleanup. The cleanup is so real right now, guys. That's for, you wit you just witnessed that firsthand. Cleanup is legit. So there you go. Definitely a combo card. Definitely not something you want to play on its own. But with in conjunction with with, with another card. I didn't have the unholy combustion available on my alt account to test if we could potentially unholy combustion it, but try to see if we can get back to check out this trick. Alright, there's the dragon there, red. Let's try and start this counter push. I am the item of four thousand. Alright. So that's the counter push that we have coming up from that set. Relatively slow moving. Alright, so dragon sir red. Into the bar, Jimmy. And we're gonna try and see if we can. Yeah, not fast enough from my side, but as you can see, the HP got half. So, I mean, that was pretty cool all in all. But I definitely emphasize to you people, you have to build a strategy around playing this card. You can't just throw it out and expect to win more. It's definitely a combo card. You're going to need to play it in conjunction with another card to make use of uh, the health debuff uh, the attack debuff for 10 seconds isn't that great of an effect per se but it's definitely a bonus because as you saw the attack speed on dragon Sir red is kind of on the slow side so definitely gonna want to minimize the amount of damage that's being outputted onto her so but there you go all in all decent card balanced i would say in regards to really great effect not necessarily so great attack attack and hp stats per se but we'll see how the card scales as more people get get multiple copies of it and we can see but that's gonna be it for me thank you so much to everyone that checked out my video appreciate the support as always and that's gonna be it so this is me signing off telling you as always until next time keep on gaming subscribe to our youtube channel like all our videos do go check us out on facebook you can search us under the name zalgo comment Follow us on Twitter at Mr. Underscore Gamehead. And as always, keep on gaming. Visit our game review blog at www.zalgocometh.blogspot.com See you guys later.